All right, Bryce, I need you to kind of give me the 411 on this. Yes. I want an, an expose. Yes. How big of a diva was the dragon? <sighs> Out of control. Like, what was in the rider for that? I mean, we're not actually, like, shooting right now, right? I can just, full disclosure. Okay. The dragon was, um, yeah, I mean, he just, he, let's just say, takes up a lot of space. Yeah. <laughs> Did he demand a lot? Yeah, I mean, he's, like, eating so much. He was like, uh, you know, on every set, like there's a greensman and, and, and it's like they need to take care of all the greens and they were just having to ship in all these leaves because he was just eating the entire set. But he's so cute. He is cute and he uses that as an excuse. <laughs> Actors. <laughs> yes, yeah. Dragons. <laughs> um, do you think that Elliot the dragon could hold up with the Game of Thrones dragons? Oh my gosh. I think that he would just charm them all <laughs> and survive that way. That's true. He's, he can hold his own. Yeah, no, he totally can. Um, how does this movie hold up to the animated film? How, just kind of describe the two. Well, you know what? I mean, it's so, it, it's interesting because the, um, I, yeah, I'm mean, sort of like when I was a kid, I watched the 1977 Pete's Dragon over and over and over again. In fact, when um, I told my sister that I was going to be in Pete's Dragon, she burst into tears. So that was like a that was like a staple in our household, and um, and so when I initially read this script, it was actually out of sheer curiosity. It wasn't because I was like I didn't know there was a role or anything, and and I heard that it was happening. I was like oh, I, I really like I'm so curious what they're doing with that, and when I read it, I was so I, I don't know I was really happy with the way they handled it because it was it didn't step on my memories of the original because it was so incredibly different, and yet. What is central to the 1977 film and this film is, is you know, this character of a boy who's lost his family, who learns to find a family and his best friend who is a dragon, and then, and then ultimately does find a family. And, um, and so, you know, I th and the fact that it's also a live action film with an animated dragon. And I remember as a kid, like, that was one of the first movies that I saw that did that. Um, so that's obviously been retained in this. I mean, it looks so real on screen. It looks so real. So talk about, <laughs> I mean, well, you were in Jurassic Park, so you acted with things that aren't really there before. But is that ever strange? Because you're like. Well, it's like, you You know what? I. Um, it's sort of like being a kid and playing in your backyard. Like it doesn't, when you're doing it, it doesn't feel strange. Probably um, from <laughs> from a different point of view, it would be a little strange, but uh, but I mean, it's like you kind of when you're when you're filming, you sort of like lose yourself in the experience, and and this really weird thing happens where where of course, like my memory of it is not of you know I'm not actually seeing the, the real Elliot, but then I saw you know the completed film, and now when I think back on my memory, there, the, I have already projected the real Elliot there, so it's not as it's not as awkward an experience as you might think, you know? Um, you know, one of the themes in this is, have, is like having these magic moments in your life. What's yeah. maybe a magic moment in your life that sticks out that might have changed you for good or for worse, would you say? Oh, my goodness. I'm going deep here. Howard. Yeah, going I know, deep. I know. Okay, deep. deep dive, yeah. deep dive. Um, a magic moment that, ch I mean, there, there have definitely been many um oh you know what okay so here's the first one that comes to mind it's the first time i saw my husband um we got together when we were 19 years old i i saw him and i broke out into hives and i was with my best friend um my best guy friend and um and he looked at me and he was like what just happened to you because i was like beat red everywhere and i i was just like that boy that boy and i went home and i wrote in my journal i met the man i'm gonna marry so you're sell telling me that I can believe in love at first sight? Yes. Yes. Oh, for sure. I mean, it wasn't the same for him. <laughs> it actually wasn't. It wasn't. Um, but after, you know, seven very diligent months of pursual, uh, he did go on a date with me. And, you know, and it worked out 15 and a half years ago. But it's, it's yeah, that was just one of those kind of magic moments in life. And you don't know if that's going to happen or not. And it did. And I can't believe it, you know? You're giving me hope. Yeah, it was good. And <laughs> awesome. I, still, I still have Thank the you. journal. I really? wrote it in like a sparkly blue gel pen. It's oh like my really God. tacky. When you first read the script, why was this something that you had to be a part of? Well, because it returned me to my own childhood. It was a chance to kind of re-envision, if not replay a bit of my own childhood. 
even though I would be an older character in the story, it still was a story about a young person and a young person's engagement with nature and an animal. And those were important elements for my upbringing. But you lose them when you become an adult. You know, you're so busy as a child wanting to become an adult. And you become an adult and you want to wish you were a child again, but it's too late. So every now and then you get a chance to step back into that time. And this is one of those. The, I mean, the dragon in this thing is so realistic when you, we see it on screen. When you're there <laughs> in New Zealand, obviously you're you're looking at nothing. Are you looking at like a little dot? What are you looking at? That's the I dragon. I was looking at a pole with a tennis ball on the end of it and imagining that. I couldn't imagine it because you, you didn't see it yet. You didn't know what it was going to look like. I mean, Lowry had some ideas and he had sketched out some things had some animators work on some things, but you, you didn't know what it was really gonna look like until now. What's maybe a magic moment in your adult life that kind of changed the rest of your life? Is there any kind of single moment? Because we talk about magic moments in this film. Is there something that sticks out in maybe your adult life? Oh, wow. That changed maybe your outlook on life, or? I don't know that it changed my outlook on life, because I had a pretty flexible outlook on life. <clears throat> but there have been a lot of moments that were almost shockingly strange, and they were welcome because they were out of the ordinary. They were almost they were almost extraterrestrial, if you want to think. Of it. They, they were just bizarre moments, and I appreciate it. But I've had a lot. I, I can't single one out except they did happen in Utah. They did happen where I live in the mountains in Utah. Are there dragons in the mountains in Utah? No, there are no dragons, but there there are things like dragons. They're called human beings. Um, how would you, you know, you've been in the business now a couple years. How would you say the business has changed? Has show business changed that much? Let, let's maybe go back to like Butch Cassidy. What's kind of the one single thing, I guess, or a few things that have changed this business over the years, in your opinion? Well, first of all, film is just part of show business. I mean, show business is a pretty broad category. The change that I've seen basically was a moment in 1980 when all through the 60s and 70s, the studios controlled the industry and they had they did their blockbuster films but they also made smaller films under their banner at a certain point they decided to centralize and only focus on the big blockbuster films or films that would satisfy the youth market and technology was advancing and it was feeding it so at that point they began to divest on the smaller more humanistic films and that was a change that I I was sorry to see happen which actually led to the idea of wanting to start Sundance and start independent film, um, an enterprise that would support the survival of independent film. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed the film.